plastic. The metal strips go way back into the wall, which is basically compacted soil. They planned this carefully because the big mine trucks at the top can weigh 700 tons when loaded. Key to the whole thing? Yeah. Compaction is very important. The uh, foundation is very important. And the drainage, just like a house, is very important before you build anything. So before we build this one, we have a massive of, uh, French drain put underneath the, uh, into the ground. Because this site have a lot of uh, uh, underground water. It's, uh, you know, if we don't drain it dry, then this thing will fail. It's an established time-tested design, and it sure is big. I'm Jeff Lamb from Huntington, Quebec, and I've been welding this crusher for two months now. Oh wait, now it's been a year, and I'm working on the conveyor. The crushers can handle five tons of oil sand a second. They're pretty much finished. And so are the people who worked here. This is Greg's last day. He's packing up. It's been a mixed blessing, you know, the, the end of the job. You get tired and you don't realize that you're tired. And when you do, it's time to go. It's time to take some time off. Uh, Are you there? Yeah, I think so. My name is Jason Lewis. I'm uh, an iron worker here with uh, Wayward Steel. Working on the uh, surge conveyor. As you can see behind me, uh, it's the mine, the crushers, surge feed. And below us here, uh, 120 feet is the surge pocket. Here five months, um, been an interesting job, a different job, and uh, all the guys work with, great crew. We all stepped up to the challenges, and uh, it's starting to come to uh, an end. Conveyors. The higher one, almost a kilometer long, brings ore from the crushers to the surge bin. When Jason spoke, he was right about here. There is a second conveyor, two of them actually, to move the ore from the surge bin and get it up to the breakers. They are going